I am actually extra excited for this session of the show because I don't know if you know that you can get healing from literally massaging your palm. Sounds a bit mysterious. Some of you may know and may not even have put in a lot of attention into it. Do you believe in herbal medicine? Do you know the world is moving organic? Well, I'm not going to keep saying much because we have the professional herself in our midst and I will introduce her to you right after this video. Charity Chumetsi Ankara, the CEO of the Chatma Herbal Center. Welcome, ma'am. Thank you. You look amazing. I love the prints. Thank very you. Very bright. <laughs> now, I am very, very excited, okay, especially about the Korean hand therapy. We don't have a lot of information about it out there circulating. All we know is the deep tissue massages mm -hmm. and so on. Mm -hmm. And to even know this is healing, please tell us all we need to know about Korean hand therapy. Right, okay. So um, basically, Korean hand therapy is um, practiced by stimulating the nerves okay. that connects to the brain to feed the human body. Beautiful. Yeah, so um, that's, that's a connection. You, um, it's, it's mainly done by stimulating the nerves at the back of your hand or in your palm oh. or at the foot. Um, we have some of the nerves at the back of the neck and then we also have some on the forehead. So um, you have to be able to stimulate the nerves to communicate with the brain. It goes with calculation. Wow. It, goes with <laughs> <laughs> it goes with a lot of calculation. Um, every nerve breathes. So if the nerve is not breathing, when you touch it, you'll be able to feel it at the palms. Oh, so that's how you know. That's so um, it's, it's easier to know which nerve is breathing and which one is not breathing. So basically, that's Korean hand therapy. Wow, that sounds so divine. It's like having an extra eye for the human body. Yeah. And it's all through your hands. Yeah, everything. Everything but is done. So what's the hands. difference between that and acupuncture? Um, acupuncture uses needles. Okay. So acupuncture has to, you have to use needles to, for acupuncture. But this one is basically by the hands. Your hands is, is trained to be able to feel the nerves. Um, I was telling them backstage that my hands has been cooked. You know, um, the training is such that you have to um, put your hands in warm water, warm water and cold water one hour every day for like wow. three months so that your fingers becomes sensitive to be able to feel the nerves, to know which one is breathing and which one is, is not breathing. And then, <laughs> and then, so basically, that's how the training starts. And so you should be able to know which nerve connects to which part of the body. And everything is done by stimulating with a certain time, because it has to do with timing. And then you should be able to know that, okay, this nerve is connected to the brain. So once you are able to do it, you know, it feels some way. Yes. My, my patients call me the magic doctor. Yes, you know. It sounds magical, <laughs> it does, honestly. Yeah, 
But um, this is something that is being practiced, yeah. That's what I wow. do. So then the difference would be that this you're feeling with your hands mm -hmm. and then with the other you're feeling with needles. W yeah, definitely. So okay. This one is basically with the hands. But ho how did you even get into Korean hand therapy? <laughs> right, okay. So um, growing up, I, I always wanted to do something extraordinary. Um, my, I had two dreams. I had wanted to be um, a news anchor and a doctor. But then, um, looking at all the two, I wanted to be extraordinary, even if I have to do both. Yeah. So, um, if I have to be a doctor, then it has to be something different yeah. from what everybody, everybody is doing. doing. And then, thank God, he answered my dreams. <laughs> I had the opportunity to work with a Chinese company for two years. Okay. And um, among the, the staff that I was working with, there was this guy who was practicing this Korean hand therapy and I got so glued to him because um, sometimes you see people with back pain, you just hold your hand and pull one thing or the other and, and then fine. they are fine. And I'm like, wow, I'm interested in this. So I got closer. He started teaching me. And um, one of the requirements was that I had to learn the Chinese language by Ooh. force. So I started learning the language. Oh, Ni hao. Ni hao, ma. <laughs> Oh, wow. I was right, right? That's <laughs> yeah, hello. Yeah. All right. So um, I started learning from him. Um, he took me through for two years. And then um, he asked me to, to go on a site okay. um, to learn more. So I had to go on that to learn more into it. And so that, that is how I got trained with, with what I do. And it feels good. He massages as well. So he was the same person who taught me how to massage. And um, it's been amazing practicing it. Very uh, amazing. I mean, I'm actually still amazed trying to imagine how the whole thing goes because I've never had that experience. Yeah. And I'm wondering, who would you say should have that? Is it just for general relaxation? Um, for everybody. Okay. Not only for general relaxation. Okay. Um, let's say somebody even have um, a severe menstrual cramp. You know, I could just hold the person's feet, press one or two things, and the person will be fine. Please, you fall sick. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm wondering, do you ever, like, have issues with your body? Because you know uh, all this. Are you able to do it to yourself? Yeah, definitely. I'm a human being, so... Wow. <laughs> so... Um, you can feel it just like you feel other definitely. people's Because so sometimes, you know, when you're listening to somebody's mm -hmm. heartbeat, it's different from when you're trying to listen to yours. Definitely. I can do That's it on amazing. myself. Um, let's say somebody's having a sleep disorder and the person is not able to sleep. Um, I could just work on the person's forehead and within the next few minutes, the person will fall asleep. And I could program the number of hours that I want the person to sleep into the brain. And <laughs> the person will fall asleep. Wow, you should be on my speed dial. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I do these things. So people with prostate issues, um, diabetes, BP, you know, there are areas in the body you can press and it will just go down. Somebody with migraine, you know, will just walk into the clinic with a migraine and... There are places to touch and the person will feel good. Wow. Yeah. How long would you say a typical session takes? Um, not, not more than one hour. Um, some of the sessions will not even take up to, up to five minutes. Should you have like a waist pain mm. and I should hold your hand in the next two minutes, I should be done with that. Whoa. Yeah. Can you explain to, how, <laughs> to us how this works, like with the palm? Give us an idea how you're able to tell, because you know the palm is very hard. It's not like other parts of the mm -hmm. body can feel when there's a tight muscle and all that. Right. Okay. How do you know? Right. When okay. To touch? So um, at the back of uh, the hand, mm -hmm. right, it has um, your whole human body. The whole human body is at the back of your hand and in your palm. So um, if I want to touch your back, um, I could just hold probably your thumb and another part of the body the part of a hand mm -hmm. and it will go straight to your back so if you're feeling a back pain i could just hold it and then there's a way i have to stimulate the nerves it will go back Sweet. to to the, the the spine and you feel good <laughs> that's, that's <laughs> wow yeah it's it's kind of confusing unless it's being done on the body on the then body, you will yes. have the impact especially if you're feeling a pain mm -hmm. let's say somebody is feeling a pain right now and the person is brought here, then um, you might see the difference or probably 
somebody has a, like an eye problem, is mm -hmm. feeling blare and will not be able to read what you have, I could hold a hand and the person will start feeling, you know, the yeah. difference. Yeah, so that's... that's but, you know, so far, you've been mentioning so many body parts where yeah. you could have issues and mm -hmm. you just touch here and there and the person is fine. So then, have you had... Can people do it just for relaxation? First yeah. Of all? There's nothing yeah. wrong with you. you just Definitely. We, we have um, a way of relaxing your system. Okay. We call it um, the cranial massage. Okay. That's what we call it. So it's be basically done on the brain to relax your whole system. Yeah. That's and that, that's, that's relaxing. And is that something you have, you're supposed to do after that to keep that feeling elongated for some time? Um, not really. Once, once you are you are off the bed, I mean, you feel, oh, you feel better. <laughs> you know, so better. You feel light. You feel all the heaviness is gone. You uh, you feel good. Once you are off the bed, you feel good. Wow. Are you training people on this? Um, it's very unique. Yeah, I'm I'm planning of opening a school uh, next really? year. Yes, to start training people because. Um, we don't have Korean yeah, therapists in Ghana. That, yes. We don't have people who are practicing this. Mm. So by next year, we, we're hoping that um, I can start training people on this. Yeah. So yeah, that I least would, I would definitely want to learn. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe just for myself. Yeah. My loved ones. At least so that we can have them. Um, because you see, w with the Korean hand therapy, it's not like you having to go to the clinic like every time where you have to be taking medicine yeah. like all the time. So. At the clinic, I don't have people coming in over time where they have to be coming in and coming in. Mm -hmm. It's something you come, we take you through a session, and then by the time we are done with your sessions, you should be fine. Some even come for once, and that's it. Because whatever is happening is, and <laughs> um, one of the thing is that sometimes after um, treating them at the clinic, we show them basic things to do at home so that um, they wouldn't have to be running all the time to the clinic. Yeah. Okay. But how would you say Ghanaians are taking this? Um, at least for the few patients that I have, um, they are amazed. Mm -hmm. A lot of them are amazed because um, sometimes you find people come to the clinic and after working on them, they are like, I'm looking for my pain. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, oh. so this, that's how amazed um, they are. They, they, they tend looking for the pain they brought in, especially with women who come with menstrual cramps and you see some pressing their abdomen to feel if they still Where feel they the pain. <laughs> Where did the pain go? You know, they keep asking you questions. Yeah. People come to the clinic and you touch them and they are like, what? I mean, even without drugs? Because you, you go through the treat, I, I even do the treatment before I administer drugs. Mm -hmm. So sometimes right after the treatment, they are like, what? I have not even taken medicine and I you feel this okay. good. You know, so um, for the few people that I have come in contact with, they, are, they really appreciate um, the Korean hand therapy. I think there should be more education on this. People yeah. should know there are other Def alternatives to Definitely. minor diseases. Because we're taking a lot of painkillers mm -hmm. for a lot mm -hmm. of minor things. Definitely. Things we could even take water and rest for. Definitely. Korean hand therapy can even work on your kidneys to take wow. away toxins from the kidneys. Um, it can work on your immune system and your eyes. It can work on your prostate. It I'm amazed. It right. can work on your, if you have ulcer. Korean hand therapy can work on that. There's a, there's a part of the body to press and the pain the person is feeling will just go down. So, I mean, it's something you can work on the whole body with. I was going to ask, how do you sustain customers? How do you get them in the first place? Mm -hmm. And how do you sustain them? But I mean, this is going to be on experiential basis because yeah. if I'm experiencing it myself, mm -hmm. I know I have to come back when Definitely. I need it. Definitely, you know? and I then don't have um, to be told. automatically they recommend um, yes. people to us, yeah. Well, let's get into herbal medicine. Um, the world is moving the organic way Definitely. now. Everybody's trying to find a more safe way to mm -hmm. approach, you know, their ailments and all of that, leading us to finding more solutions with plants. Yeah. So tell us what's unique about herbal medicine, or why should people look at healing in that direction? Okay. Um, you know, learning from the Chinese, I, I realize that um, when you talk about orthodox medication, mm -hmm. it's a no-go area for them. Um, oh. Yeah. Um, they, they prefer their herbs to, to the orthodox medication. And one of the things that made me um, really love the herbal aspect mm -hmm. was when um, they treated somebody with a prostate issue. The person just had to do 
a prostate exercise. You know, it was the first time I saw that a man would have to go naked and do an exercise. And within some few days, like three days, the prostate gland, no matter the size, is reduced to normalcy. Wow. Um, where somebody comes in without urinating, you know, when the man has um, prostate, it makes them difficult to urinate. And the person does this exercise and then part of the leg is pressed and on the spot, the person is able to urinate, you know. And wow. um, I got so much into it. And one of the advice he gave that if you want to do this, it should be herbal medicine and not um, the orthodox. And um, using the herbal medicines, I realized that um, we have so many aspects of the herbal medicine. Sometimes when you talk about the herbal medicine, people think um, you're a spiritualist. Yes. Because um, yes. a <laughs> lot moment, of us have that perception. Yeah, definitely. A lot of people have perception that the moment you mention herbal, then you are going to find one allergy who crossed the leg <laughs> and doing all these things, you know. <laughs> but uh, my, my side of the herbal, I use the spices. You know, we have a lot of spices that are medicinal that we don't even know a lot of spices so um i believe um, herbal is is you see um it's so amazing that africans we have something that we don't even cherish god has given us the herbs and we don't even want it we always want to go for the painkillers that will kill us you know rather because yeah. um, one of the things i realized that uh, people who are on BP medications and diabetes medications, a lot of them um, mostly have problems with their kidneys. Mm -hmm. And um, looking at these, if there's something else that um, will help people to not to go through, you know, taking some of these drugs so they will have adverse reactions, why not herbal medicine? You know, <laughs> so. Um, for me, herbal medicine is a 100% thing. It's something that I will advise everybody to go into because that's something God has given us. The only problem we have with the herbal medicine is that sometimes um, they raise the price so high. Mm -hmm. So people are like, hey, herbal, there anybody, you know? <laughs> and they sometimes um, feel like, okay, what if you take it? And then sometimes you have people telling people, hey, when you take herbal medicine, you have this kind of problem or that kind of problem, you know? <laughs> and so people are even afraid you know, um, in the past where our, our mothers were doing these things, they, school was not yeah. in session and yes. they didn't know how to even measure some of these things. So people are afraid to go in. But herbal medicine is the best. The best. Yeah, the best. Wow. What are some of the unique ailments that Ghanaians struggle with that we can find solution for at your health center? Right, okay. So um, diabetes is one. Okay. Um, ulcer, sleep okay. disorders, um, prostate issues, fertility issues, um, I can mention on and on and on, <laughs> um, spinal problems, um, back problems, eye problems, if I want to mention, I'll still mention. Yeah. <laughs> but how do people contact Chatma? Right, they, okay. Wait, so do they contact Chatma for um, the Korean hand therapy as well? Yeah. Okay, so yeah. how did they reach out? Right, okay. Really? So we have a Facebook handle okay. um, and then my personal page. I do a lot of um, teachings on my page on Facebook. Okay, what's the name? Uh, my, my handle is Char Charity Chumesi Ankara. That's my okay. personal page. Charity Chumesi Ankara. Ankara. Okay. And then I have a page for the clinic. It's Chatma Heba Health Center. Okay, then. So these handles are working. And I do a lot of teaching on that. Okay. So that's where I get a lot of... Um, my feedback, clients, yeah, yeah, feedback. And then um, people who come in mostly recommend um, us to other people. So this is how we get people coming into Chatma Herbal. No, how, how do you come about your herbal products? Do you source them from Ghana here or some are also from Yeah, the um, some are from here, some are from Israel. Okay. Um, some are from China. So this, okay. this is where I get And you so prepare them yourself? Yeah, I, pre I do the preparation and everything myself. Great. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to ask this as well. How do people around you react to you being a Korean hand therapist, if I should say? Is that right? Yeah. They, uh, are they always trying to, like, anytime they see, oh, the other time I felt something here, you're getting Yeah, yeah, I get it a lot. <laughs> um, um, people call me the magic doctor. Mm. 
Oh. I even have um, um, an immune booster in my clinic, and they call it the magic water. Oh, wow. <laughs> so sometimes you go to places, and people are like, oh, that's the magic doctor. <laughs> you know, I get it a lot. And then friends around you, they see you and like, oh, Charlie, me tia, me apa, oh, me, 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 you know. Exactly. So I get, I get this a lot, yeah. I, How does that make you feel? Does it put more pressure on you? Um, I, I, feel, I feel good. I feel happy. Um, one of the, 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 f the things that makes me happy is to see my patients well. I mean, it's, that's my greatest joy. When people come in mm -hmm. and you treat them and they're like, wow, it makes me so good. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's what makes me happy. That is beautiful. Yeah. So then looking at the pressure you have on you to take care of other people, how would you say you always remember to take care of yourself? Because on, your, on The Real Show, we aim to sort of let the imagine meet the established. You've yeah. established something very solid and unique. And want people out there to understand that you do all this, but you're able to take care of yourself as well. Yeah. So how do you come about that? Okay, so um, I'm, I'm one person that um, I always love to finish what is on my table. That's, that's one thing with me. Okay. And um, I can reduce my stress on my forehead myself with my hands. Oh, well, so yeah. <laughs> I keep forgetting you can actually do it for yourself. Yeah, so um, once I feel stressed um, with the work, because it takes, a, you know, um, Korean hand therapy is such that if I'm working on you, um, I'm going to drain all the energy I have in me to make sure that you are well. That's, that's how it is. So by the time you are done with one or two people, you are stressed yourself. Mm. And... Um, Wait, I have to, I do a lot of multitasking, you know, <laughs> working, taking care of the family, you know, I, I do all. And um, so in my leisure time, I rest a lot. That's what I do. When, when I'm not doing anything, mm -hmm. I try to rest a lot mm -hmm. so that I always have to gain the strength to always be active to take care of people. Yeah. Any parting words, a message to us? You amaze us. Have to tell us something. <laughs> right, okay. So um, what I can say is health knowledge is life wealth. And you are what you eat. One of the Ooh. things I do is that, um, especially with my patients, I, I try to make them eat right. You can't be eating what you are eating and still be taking medicine. It doesn't work. You have to eat right. So whatever you become, has something to do to with do what you are right, eating. Yes. So you are what you eat, and health knowledge is life worth. Wow. <laughs> now, before I ask my last question, um, I want you to explain something to us, Ghanians. Yeah. We are always taking advantage of... No, I think we take for granted. That should, mm -hmm. that should be the word. We take for granted self-care. Yeah. Okay. If somebody doesn't believe in... Massages. You know, most people think that you spend on massages that you show off, mm -hmm. that you know you're, you're having a very uh, uh, classy way of taking care of yeah. yourself, or you have the money to throw around, mm -hmm. or just to enjoy the environment in a spa. Mm -hmm. But can you tell us why it is important to have the massages? And is it okay to just have them routine and all of that? Why should people pay attention to this? Right, okay. So, um, massage takes care of about. Um, 75% of um, things in your body. Okay. Um, apart from relaxation, it takes care of toxins in your body. Anytime you are massaged, um, for us Korean therapists, anytime we massage you, we collect toxins in your system and we push it to your kidneys. So we advise that once we are done with the massage, yeah. you need to drink a lot of water and then you urinate. Once you are able to do that, toxins will not build in your kidneys. So um, apart from the relaxation, massage takes care of your kidneys. Um, under normal circumstances, uh, massage should be done like three times in a week. Mm. Under normal circumstances, it should be done three times in a week. Uh, if you are wow. not doing at all, once in a week. You know, it keeps you, uh, for blood circulation, it, it keeps your blood circulating well. Um, it takes away stress, relaxes your brain. You know, when your brain <laughs> is not relaxed, your body is not relaxed yeah. until your brain relaxes. So it relaxes your brain, um, it makes your brain to communicate with a part of the body. So that's basically why everybody should have a massage. Wow. And it shouldn't be for luxury's sake that I'm going to have massage and people feel that I'm doing a big girly thing. No, 
it's medicinal. So um, I would urge that everybody should have at least once a week is on that. Everybody in every any age at all? Everybody any in range. any age, yeah. Great. So if you're watching me, ask yourself, when was the last time you took a break to take care of yourself? Intimately, your mind, your body, your body parts. Have you had a massage? I think you need Korean hand therapy. Yeah. <laughs> you should contact <laughs> Dr. Chumisi for one. And let's learn to take care of ourselves better. Yeah. Uh, do you have some life principles you can share with us? <laughs> <sighs> okay, so um, life principles. Um, do the things that you can do. And the things that you can't do, let them be. Do the things that you can do and do them well. The things that you can do, let them be. Wow. Yeah. Do the things you can do and do them and well. And do them well. And the, the things, things you, you can't do, do, let them, let them be. be. I hope you remember this for the rest of your weekend. Tonight has been amazing. I had a great session with my first guest, Yvette. She is a past queen of Miss Universe Ghana. She's a teacher and she does art. Beautiful paintings on glass. That was interesting. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining me. And thank you, Dr. Chumisi, for gracing my set and sharing this with us. This is very unique. And I hope the Ghanaians and everybody watching, my viewers, as well as myself, can take the advice of learning to relax and take care of their bodies more and experience this new therapy that you have. <laughs>